¿no? Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Sorry, guys, can you hear me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, can you hear me? Excuse me? Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. cool, cool. cool. Awesome then. So it's it's time already. It's eight o'clock. So um, how are you doing, guys? How are you? Fine. And you, teacher? I've been doing good. Thank you for asking. So I'm going to present myself real quick uh, so we can continue with the class. I'm Jennifer Valiente. Um, you can call me just Jenny. That's that's fine. I don't mind. So, um, so it's easier for you also to remember my name. Um, I'll be, I'll be your teacher for the remaining two weeks of this course. Uh, that is the pre-intermediate one. So we are almost done, right? Just this week and the other one, and then, and then you're finished. So uh, real quick, I would like to get to know you, um, if it's possible. Real, I, I know you already did that with the, with the other teacher. So can you present yourself real quick, introduce yourself to me? Uh, just saying your name, last name, and something you like to do. Just that real quick. Okay, uh, teacher, uh, I am William Figueroa. I like uh, playing sea football, soccer. Cool, that's amazing. Do you have a favorite okay. team? Yes, in El Salvador, Alianza. Okay. In Spain, Real Madrid. <laughs> awesome, the same the same uniform, right? <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. No, white. Just, white, that's right. Awesome. What about okay. the rest? Hi, uh, good evening. Good evening. My name is Daniel o uh, Ocampo Garcia. I am 17, <laughs> 17. I'm 19 years old. Okay. And, and only. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, Daniel. Uh, what about Edwin and Maria Teresa? How are you doing? Uh, good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening. Uh, sorry, my internet is a little bit teacher. It's okay. Uh, my, name, my name is Edwin, Edwin Castro. Uh, my favorite sport is football. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening, Maria. Uh, how, what is your preferred name? ¿Cómo le gusta que le llamen? Mm, Teresa. Okay, then. All right, Teresa. My name, my name is Teresa, Teresa Costa. I am 25 years old. I am a stu student. I study at Docentes Técnicos. Cool. Uh, I like eat pupusas. Me too. You and me both. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much, Teresa. So I see that we have two people joining now. Um, Rosibel, or oh, three people. Uh, hi, Oscar. Let's see, Stephanie and Karina. Uh, so what we're doing right now, if it's possible, just introduce yourself with uh, one name, one last name, and something you like to do. Uh, my name is Rosibel Hernandez. I live in Ciudad Merliot. Um, I work in a kindergarten. Um, I like read. 
Awesome. Thank you very much, Rosie. <laughs> what about the rest? What can you tell me? What about the rest, the people that just joined? Can you uh, give me your name and your last name and something you'd like to do? It's okay if you don't want to. That's fine, because I know you already did it with the previous teacher. I just want to get to know you. Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Stephanie Solis. Um, I like to watch the movie. <laughs> awesome. Uh, um, I, I work for the Telemobil. Okay. And nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Uh, which name do you prefer, Stephanie or Elizabeth? Stephanie. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, Stephanie. So, well, I see that um, maybe you, you don't have the microphone with you. That's that's totally fine. For the people that did just join, um, my name is Jennifer Valiente. I'll be your teacher, as I said on the chat, uh, for the remaining two weeks of this course. So um, you can call me just Jenny. I believe it's easier uh, to call me by my name. All right. So I would like to uh, set up some expectations, if it's possible. Uh, do you feel comfortable doing the whole class in English or would you like me to tone it down like having 80% English, 20% Spanish? Uh, do you feel comfortable having the whole class in English? Good evening, so teacher. Oh, hi, good evening, Rafael. How are you? Fine, thanks. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yes. So we're introducing ourselves right now. <laughs> Awesome, I'm, I'm actually glad that, that I get to see you uh, today. So, real quick in Spanish. Uh, ¿Se sienten cómodos de que hagamos toda la clase en inglés? ¿O quisieran que hiciera como, por ejemplo, con otros grupos? De que hago más o menos 80% inglés, 20% español, o un poquito más de español, si ustedes no se sienten todavía uh, eh, seguros, that's totally fine. Si estamos en un ambiente de aprendizaje, no hay pena en eso. O me dicen si quisieran hacerlo todo en inglés. Por mí no hay problema. Ustedes son los que mandan. Teacher, ¿puedo opinar? Sí, dígame. Eh, por mí está bien. Como usted dice, 80% en inglés y 20% en español. Perfecto. ¿Qué opinan los demás? Ay. Mm. I prefer only only English. Okay. My comments. Yes, that's that's totally okay. So what about the rest? Mi Hi. Name is Sergio Gomez. Hi Sergio. Este, bueno, en mi caso yo quizás preferiría si una parte en inglés y otra en español, pues este, oigo escucho que que su pronunciación es bastante bastante ágil. Entonces, de repente, eh, hay palabras que no las entiendo y pierdo el contexto de repente de lo que se está hablando. Entonces, sí. creo que para aclarar de repente cuando uno no, no entiende, pues creo que sí está bien el, de repente un porcentaje pequeño en español. Sí, claro. Y como saben, o sea, no se preocupen. Vamos comenzando todavía. Ya en el siguiente módulo, muy probablemente ya ustedes también eh, puedan entender al 90 o 100% de, de lo que dice el el profesor. Así que sí, o sea, ¿qué dicen los demás? ¿Está bien así? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Jenny, my name is Mauricio Barzona. Mm -hmm. um, I really like all the class in English if possible, but I don't have problem if you give the class in uh, English or on Spanish. Okay. But I really like only in English, but if you can speak a little slow, a little sure. more slow. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it's okay. Okay, then. Yes. Um, well, thank you for letting me know. I, I will speak slower. I understand that sometimes when a teacher gets excited, <laughs> we start to speak faster, right? So I'm sorry about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to 
I could tell myself about it, all right? So, uh, I'm sorry. I believe, creo que me están hablando de, de inglés corporativo. Me dan un segundito. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Cayó de sorpresa, compañeros, la noticia del cambio de teacher. Sí. Ya nos habíamos acostumbrado al, al otro teacher. Sí, cabal. Sí, la verdad es que no, no lo esperaba. Bueno, pero hay que ser positivo. Y a caballo regalado no se le busca al lado. Ay, cabal. <risa> lo ha dicho, usted lo ha dicho. A lo, a lo Will Salgado. Cabal. A lo de Choto. Correcto. No, pero en parte mejor porque así uno desarrolla el listening. Perfecto. Porque ya en la vida real uno no solo estaría hablando inglés con la misma persona. It's okay, guys, don't worry. I'm sorry about that. So, as I said, um, if you feel comfortable, all right, I can do that. Um, in case you have any questions, you can, you can make them here on the chat or through WhatsApp, all right? So, as I said, maybe we can, um, let's do it 90% English and 10% Spanish, all right? So, not everything will be in Spanish and you can get used to listening to other people because as Rafael was saying, I'm sorry, I was it, it's dropping. <laughs> so um, you can get used to other people's accents, right? If you, for example, your goal is to work in a call center, um, you can get used to right now to others, other people's accents, right? So that's that's also the point, right? So you can your um, your listening skills are are sharpened, right? So. I'm glad to see you all, guys. Um, it's okay if you cannot turn off, turn on, I'm sorry, your camera. So first, uh, first things first, did you have any issues with the, uh, with the midterm exam? Do you have any questions so far? Because according to the planner, they told me that uh, you're supposed to start section number four this week. It's okay if you have not started the section number four, all right, because you still have two weeks to, um, to complete the whole content, uh, but also it's okay if you get ahead of yourself, right? Si nos adelantamos, también está totalmente uh, excelente, right? You can get ahead of yourself, you can learn more, and, and you can have more questions during the class. So, do you have any questions so far about the content uh, from the platform? Any questions, any content that you believe that is not, that is not clear, maybe? I don't have questions. I, yesterday I finished uh, the midterm exam. Okay. And this week I, I will start the, the new, uh, class. Mm, that's correct. So uh, this week, for example, you should start with the, uh, with the section number four, four. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's right. But it's okay if you get ahead of yourself, right? There are some people that um, sometimes they have more time in their hands. So they, um, some people already finished section four and already started section five, see? So, and what about the rest? Do you have any questions about a content? Do you feel that everything is clear with the, uh, the way that is explained? in the in the in the platform no nothing all right okay then so today as i mentioned um uh, it starts section number four all right so the the content about section number four it's about music and it makes a question 
right? If you if you get to the to the platform right now, it says, "Do you like rap?" Um, so there you will. Um, we have, if I'm not mistaken, fifteen uh, fifteen lessons within the section number four. Sí, tenemos quince lecciones dentro de la sección número cuatro, and each section has their own explanation, right? At first, we find the music. Um, if you have any um, any type of music that you like, right? And then we, we move on to the yes and no questions with the double double H. And then we cover the intonation and all those topics. So what I would like to cover today is the double H uh, questions with yes and no answers. So let me share my screen real quick for you. Give me a minute. So let me know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Awesome. It's okay if you have not reached yet this section. All right. Because if you see up here is a 4.3. All right. So we're going to cover this today because it's a topic that can be a little bit uh, extensive and sometimes confusing. Sí, algunas veces este tema puede ser un poquito confuso, right? Because we use double H questions. So before we continue with the video, do you know, guys, what are the double H questions? I'm gonna stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir solo para para ver eso. Um, do you know, guys, uh, any what is a double H question by any chance? Does anybody know what is a double H question? Una pregunta con WH? What time is it? That's correct. What will be the... Where do you from? Where are you from? Mm -hmm. That's right. So the double H questions are things, uh, for example, what, when, where, which, who, whose, why, and how. There are, if I'm not mistaken, eight double H questions. All right, and all of them are answered yes or no. Todas ellas se responden sí o no. Uh, bueno, no todas, but la mayoría de ellas, right? So, for example, me acaban de decir, where are you from? I'm going to write it down in the chat. Where are you from? Right? There we have the double H, all right? And then we have the rest. Que ya las vamos a ver en el video. Y ahorita se las voy a presentar. Just a second. Okay. Wait, guys. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Awesome. Yes. So we're, we're gonna just, we we'll just cover uh, the first part of the video because I, I believe it's, it's long. So. At the end of this lesson, better. participants right. will be able to ask questions in Okay. So, voy a adelantar este pedacito porque ya sabemos que al final de esta lección vamos a aprender las WH, right? So, uh, Pudieron escuchar el video? Yes, okay, cool. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let me do this. Which question works? We will get ready to ask two types of questions yes, no questions, and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. 
What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Did you notice both auxiliaries, do and does? Do, does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. All right. So, first things first, guys. I'm going to share the whiteboard real quick. So, before we get into the WH questions, did you notice something when we are making questions? That when we are making questions, the verb goes first, then pronoun, then the verb you want to ask, right? Primero va el verbo, sí, luego el pronombre, luego la información que queremos de ese verbo. Por ejemplo, in the double H questions, we use do and does. Right? So we use do and does. Do you remember any of the questions that the lady from the video asked? Do you like rap? For example, she asked, um, do you like rap? Right? If you see here, we use the base form of the verb, la forma base del verbo, all right? Porque tenemos presente simple, que sería la forma base, pasado simple y pasado participio, all right? Y cuando es tercera persona, se le agrega el qué? La S. S. Perfecto. S. Entonces, si es tercera persona, which verb do we use at the beginning? ¿Qué verbo utilizamos al principio? Das. Perfecto. Das. Does he? And because it's a third person, do we still use the, use the S at the end? Or no? Why? No, no use because the verb do is the uh, transform instead of person. That is it. Perfect. Amazing. So because we're already using does, right? That is as as Teresa said it's already modifying or transforming the verb, right? So there's no need for you to add the S when we're using does, all right? No hay necesidad de agregar la S aquí. Si ponemos la S aquí, está malo, okay? Porque ya tenemos el does que nos está convirtiendo el verbo en tercera persona, right? Ya vi que lo sabe, so far so good. So, this is just to add, ask for information and to answer yes or no. Se recuerdan, ¿verdad? Solo para preguntar información y decir si me gusta, no me gusta, y la pregunta puede morir ahí. But what if we want more information, right? ¿Y qué pasa si queremos saber más información? Let's say that, um, who likes rap from the class? Do you like rap by any chance? Nobody? Yes. 
All right. Tell me. Um, so, yes. Yes, what? Yes, I like uh, Eminem. All right. So, it will be, if you were to answer, it will be yes, I do. Right? And then we can use, let's say that you don't tell me which artist you like. Digamos que no me decís que artista te gusta. And I want to know which artist you like, right? So if we use a WH question, que se recuerden que era who, que más? Como short answer, teacher. Sorry? Short answer. That yes, I do. Uh, yes, you are correct, Rafael. Just a short answer. But if we want a long answer, como dijo Rafael, we use the WH, right? Que sería en who, uh, where, what, when, how. ¿Qué otra hay? The WH. Why. Why. Why, perfecto. Oops, sorry, no está escribiendo. Why. Uh -huh. What kind of... Who's? I'm sorry, no lo escuché. Who's? Who's? Uh, Who? Yes, we can use who's. Oops. Mm -hmm. Who, what, wish. Ah, nos falta wish. All right. And there you go. The, these are the double H questions, ¿sí? Estas son las WH. Les puedo explicar también en qué situación so, se ocupa cada una, right? Pero ahorita hagamos la pregunta primero. So, if I want to know quién es el artista favorito de Rafael, fue el que me dijo que le gusta el rap. ¿Quién me dijo? I'm sorry. I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Hi. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So, I'm going to ask who... Right? The, the una persona is your favorite artist. Right? And then you're going to answer. Y me vas a responder quién es tu artista favorito, que sería? My favorite artist is Eminem. Eminem. Perfect. So, my favorite artist is Eminem, right? Eminem, all right, sorry. So his favorite artist, it's Eminem, right? And that is it. Ahí está la respuesta larga, right? Who is his favorite artist? Eminem, right? Ahora, eh, si quieren, antes de pasar um, uh, a hacer más respuestas, les puedo escribir ¿Para qué y en qué situaciones se, se utiliza cada WH? ¿Está bien? Ok. Perfect. Yes, Thank please. You. Ok. Awesome. So, for example, who, voy a poner por acá abajito, who, we use it for people. All right. We want to know about people. What and wish Oops, sorry. We use it, do you know by any chance? For things, right? Oops, things, all right? What and wish, we use it for things. When, we use it for time. Where, I can say it, does somebody know uh, when we use where? Location. Place. Perfect. Place. Location. Perfect. And then we have why? Question. Question the reason. Mm -hmm. Questions, right? But asking what? Reasons, right? We can use for reasons. And then at last but not least. We have how. Do you know by any chance when do we use how? Think of it. When, how? When what is it in Spanish? When to fashion. 
Okay. More Almost. information. Yes, we can use it to quantify information, but also how, when you ask how to somebody, what, what are you yes. expecting them to answer? Okay. Let's say. Quantity. Yes, we can use it for quantity. But for example, let's say that I ask, um, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And somebody says, I'm cooking uh, or anything. And then you say, how, right? You ask for more details. See, that is it, for more details. That is the easier way. Uh, and whose, this one, it's for people as well. But third person, tercera persona, all right? So that is it. No more information, right? Who, whose, for people, what, which, for things, when, for time, where, for places, why, for reasons. I mean, you want, when you want to know the reason why something happens, for example, and how, we use it for details. For example, I ask you, uh, let's say that you work as a mechanic, right? As a car mechanic. And, and, the, and the mechanic says, um, um, you know, we need to change something from your car. And then out of curiosity, you ask them, how are you going to do it? And let's say that the mechanic has the patience to explain. <laughs> and he explains or she explains how is that process to change a part of the car, right? So it's for details. So, so far so good. Vamos bien hasta ahorita? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So in that case, let's continue. So as we were saying, the yes and um, the WH questions, I'm sorry, we use it to get long answers, right? For example, um, y les voy a adelantar una pregunta que está más adelantito en, en un knowledge check. Uh, they're going to ask, uh, what are you from, right? For example, uh, I am from El Salvador, born and raised, uh, proudly, <laughs> orgullosamente salvadoreña, right? So, for example, that will be, that will be a question. Where are you from? Because we don't know. What if you get to know somebody from somewhere else, right? ¿Qué tal que conocemos a alguien de otro lado? And we want to know where they're from, right? Y queremos saber de dónde son. So let's say that, let's see, let me choose a name. Um, let's say that Teresa it's from, uh, sorry, let's say that Teresa answers and, and she says, I am from, Teresa, what is a country that you would like to visit? Repeat the question, please. It's okay. Uh, tell me a, a country that you would like to visit. Guatemala. All right, would you like to be from Guatemala? Mm, so, so that's just for the example it we're not changing nationality right now <laughs> that's just for the example so let's say that you are from Guatemala right and that is the long answer see Esa es la respuesta larga. that is the only information what are you from I am from Guatemala pero digamos que les hacen una pregunta directa y les dicen uh, esto es un knowledge check de más adelante. Are you from Canada? If they were to ask me, I will say no, right? Because where am I from? I'm from El Salvador, right? Even if I wanted to go and live in Canada, I am not living there, right? So I will say no. Oops, I am not from Canada, right? Y aquí comenzamos con una pregunta de WH, right? Si se fijan, where are you from? I am from Guatemala. Pero si me siguen preguntando la misma cosa, me dice, are you from Canada? Y voy a estar diciendo como que, que no me escuchaste, que no soy de Canadá, <laughs> right? So then you can say, no, I am not from Canada, right? So WH questions, guys, are pretty easy when you know what they mean, ¿sí? Las preguntas WH son fáciles cuando sabemos qué significan, right? 
the names of the grammar rules and everything are are like um, at some point like it, it can give you the, the chills because the names are pretty pretty hard but once you know them the rules are pretty easy so what I do guys in my class I'm gonna send this to you see ¿sí? se los voy a enviar esta presentación um, al whatsapp all right that's that's what I do la forma en que yo hago es de que Hago la clase les, y les mando la presentación eh, al final de la clase, right? So, in case somebody is not able to join the class, they can still get the information uh, from the video call, right? The other thing I do as well, thank you. So, the other thing as well uh, that I do is that I let you practice the content that we just covered, right? Lo, yo los dejo practicar el contenido que hemos cubierto. I don't know if the previous teacher did this. No sé si el maestro anterior hacía esto. I didn't have the chance to, to see this. And um, no he tenido honestamente la oportunidad de ver sus videos. So um, the way that I work, guys, is that at least you get to practice 30 minutes each class. All right? Que por lo menos tengan 30 minutos para practicar su, su inglés. ¿Cómo hacemos esto? I divide you by groups, right, to the breakout rooms, or I believe in Spanish is sección de grupos, right? So I divide you by rooms, and then you get to practice what we cover, ¿sí? Una vez que se explica la clase, ustedes tienen mínimo 30 minutos para practicar. Hoy vamos a tener menos porque nos comenzamos a conocer y todo, right? But tomorrow you will get more time, ¿sí? So do you agree with this? I believe it's the best way for you to practice uh, your pronunciation skills and your listening skills as well. Will that be okay with you? Okay. Yes? Okay. All right. So, yes. What about the rest? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay cool. So what we're doing, I am okay this emoji. All right, awesome then. So I'm gonna divide you by groups. Let's see. We are right now 16. So everybody gets a chance to practice. I'm gonna divide you by six groups, all right? There will be five groups of three and one group of two. Yes, we're gonna do it like that, all right? So I'm gonna divide you by groups right now. What I want you to practice is the double H questions, see? We're gonna get back um, at least five minutes uh, before the class ends, all right? So be ready to be at least five minutes before uh, the class finishes, right? So before I separate you guys, do you have any questions? Was it clear what I explained? Don't be afraid to say that you didn't understand, ¿sí? No tengan miedo de que no, de que si de la manera en que expliqué, no entendieron, right? Todos entendemos y tenemos aprendizajes distintos, right? Hay personas que entienden solamente con ver el video de la plataforma, hay personas que entienden de la manera que yo explico, y hay personas que entienden de muchas otras maneras. So, no tengan miedo de decirme que no entendieron algo. No hay pena en eso, yo nunca me voy a enojar, Es más, les voy a explicar de otra manera, ¿sí? So, uh, y si sonó como regaño, no era mi intención. I'm sorry. Pero sí, díganme, all right? If you have any questions, tell me. También, si ustedes no quieren hacer las preguntas por la llamada, ustedes, yo ya estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp, tienen mi número personal y me pueden mandar las preguntas a mi WhatsApp personal, all right? No los voy a regañar, no me voy a enojar. Es más, le voy a responder. No se preocupen hasta con más detalles. All right? So it's okay también. Está bien si no me quieren preguntar aquí y me quieren preguntar por eh, mensaje privado. Pero, o sea, pero ahorita. Okay. Ahorita, 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 ¿tienen alguna pregunta? No. Yo tengo una pregunta. No me quedó exactamente claro cuál es el tema que vamos a practicar en los pequeños grupos. El double H question. Déjenme compartir la pantalla, creo que todavía está awesome. Sí, so, del video que vimos, nos estaban explicando eh, when you ask for more information. 
For example, when you're getting to know a person, cuando estamos conociendo a alguien, you want to know every detail. Do you like, what type of music do you like? What type of food do you like? What do you prefer, dog, a dog or a cat, right? So if you see, we're using the double H to get more details from the other person, right? Las preguntas con WH son para obtener más información de la otra persona, right? So, eso es lo que quiero que practiquemos. I want you to squeeze information from your partners, <laughs> all right? Exprima la información ahorita. Saquen <laughs> todos los secretos. <laughs> so, okay, teacher. Thank you. what I want you to do. I want you to ask each other, not personal questions, of course, <laughs> no, pues, no uh, preguntas personales, right? But I want you to know it, I want you to get to know each other, right? So I'm going to separate you right now by groups. Voy a intentar visitarlos a todos. Bueno, es más, los voy a visitar a todos. And if you have any question within the group, I'll be more than glad to, to answer them. All right? So right now you should receive an invitation to go to a separate group. Please accept it. All music. And you? What is your favorite music? Mm, uh, my favorite music is rock al oh. alternative, creo, algo así, and classic music. Reggaeton? Zero reggaeton? Mm, <laughs> no mucho. <laughs> only, only dance? Only dance? No, I don't like dance. <laughs> Why? Mm, because I very, bueno, no sé cómo se dice penoso. Mm, no, I don't remember. <laughs> penoso. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt. It's shy. Ah, oh, yes. Shy, yes. como tímido. Shy. Ah, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Me o sea, da pena pen bailar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bueno, I, I, I can't uh, dance. Why? Uh, no sé cómo se dice, lo intento. <laughs> I, I try it. I try, I try. <laughs> I try it. <laughs> yes. Uh, where are you from, Maria? I'm from El Salvador. I live in Soyapango. And okay. you? Uh, I live uh, Mexicanos. Mm. Yes. Uh, mm. mm -hmm. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is lion. And, and, and you, what is your favorite animal? My favorite, favorite animal is the tortoise. The tortoise? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am mm -hmm. reading. I am. Reading. Estoy escribiendo. A question, W question, the English class. Okay. Um, compañero, el otro compañero que aporte alguna. I, I understand in the class. I no much uh, understand a little bit uh, 
este clase. <risa> Sorry. <risa> eh, compañero, vamos a crear lo que son preguntas con doble question, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Que es who, what, when, where, why y how. Ok. Es como preguntando a los, a los demás, ¿verdad? Sacando lo que es información. Ok, sí, escuché que por ahí de, me estaban preguntando de dónde era. Ah. Sí. I live in oh. a pop city. Yes. Ajá. I me too. También. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. Eh, who are you friends? Mm, best friends. My best, best friends. friends is... Yes. Is Luciano. Okay. And you? Eh, tengo you? mucho. Tengo <laughs> mucho. <laughs> eh, my best friend eh, is Carla. Is Carla. Compañero? Eh, yo tengo otra. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería, how often do you practice English? ¿Con qué frecuencia practicas inglés? ¿Cómo dijo W question? ¿Cuál era? How often. No le han dado a clase. No le han dado en clase, creo. No. Sí, pero ya sé cuál. How often dijo? Do you practice English? Do you practice? English. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso sería, how often do you practice English? English. ¿Con qué, uh -huh. ¿Con qué frecuencia practicas inglés? Es Barcelona. 100%. Ok. <laughs> Excelente. <laughs> ok. Eh. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, who is your favorite? Poker player sería eh, jugador what? favorito. Ah, Who is your favorite? Lionel Messi, my favorite. <laughs> Ajá. El Luciano. En el en el Salvador <laughs> uh, mágico. <laughs> like. Michael González. <laughs> Eh, national. <laughs> national soccer. So. Este. Eh, what do you like on dinner eh, after class? Mm. Why? Or what? Uh, what? Okay. Eh. Mm. No, no, <laughs> no, because no, no, it's Friday, and maybe, yeah, uh, fry, fry, fry. I, I don't remember in English frijole. Uh, Fry, no, no sé. fry beans, fry beans, creo. I yes. don't remember. Ah, thank you, teacher. <laughs> fry beans and cheese and tortilla. <laughs> and mask uh, and cremants. Uh, y un coffee eh. o chocolate no es 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 the best coffee eh, compañeros sorry compañeros yes eh, I, I have a question eh, solo vamos a, a practicar el WH question o y vamos a hacer vamos a practicar el el do do and ask question 
Uh, w -H. W -H question. Mm -hmm. Yes, just the ah, okay. yeah. Okay. What time um, do you sleep? Uh, what time today? Around to 10 p.m. <laughs> and you, Luciana? Uh, and you, uh, 11. 11. 11. <laughs> or, or 10 and a half. Edwin, what time to go to the bed? <laughs> <laughs> es, sorry, no, no bien tu pregunta. <laughs> Ahí queda. Espérense que ando buscando. Yo me acuerdo que había anotado unas cosas porque supuestamente ya había visto ese tema, pero no sé dónde está. I need a kindergarten for my my nice 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 no sé para mi sobrina nice dice no no sé cómo se dice nice 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 <laughs> and other question uh, what kind movies do you like what kind I like the romantic movie <laughs> you Daniel and the personal uh, I watch movie and I don't watch a movie, but I say maybe comedy. Okay. And you, Sergio? And you? I like uh, action movies and uh, action movies about uh, uh, wars and en his, his algo así mm -hmm. um, do you do you see series in Netflix yes yes I, I like series I I like uh, uh, the good doctor. Um, and you, Daniel? Yes. Um, no much. More or less, but I prefer uh, videos in, in YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> and you, Rosie? I like I I like the and with the e. I like the Vikings. I like the Emily in French. Do you okay. see? <laughs> no. No, no, I don't. I don't see. No. <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> I I I currently. Pero le recomiendo vikingos, véanla. Ah, okay. uh, this okay. This is good. Mm -hmm. yes. I like to, yes. I like to watch uh, anime in, in, in Netflix. Actually, I watch uh, Seven, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero se llama Los Siete Pecados Capitales. Es un anime. Ah, no le he visto. Pero está chiva, dicen, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, ok. Do you, do, do, Sergio, do you have a shy? Yes, I have 
to to girl. Okay. Daniel. No, it's a routine. It's a routine. What time do you have to work at Tigo? Uh, you start at 8 a.m. Okay. Normally. All right. What and is the end? Your... And the end of your at what? the end 6 p.m. 6 p.m. All right. What is your schedule in your work? Well, really in my area, in my department, we work for objectives, really. Really, they don't uh, supervise me what time I start my work. Some days I start at 8 a.m., some days I at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Because uh, uh, we work for objectives. Sometimes I have to work at night, at the night, 9 p.m., at 11 p.m. sometimes. But Do usually, you... yes? No. Do you work on Saturdays? Sometimes, yeah, um, on Sundays again. Some were uh, specific when the cierre uh, contable, no sé cómo decirlo, for the cierre contable, if the last day, if the last day of the month is on Sunday or Saturday, I have to work Sunday, the first day of the, the month, every, every, every month, every time for 15 years. Because, yeah, it's, but I, I make a film bravo. Yeah. Um, okay. Why do you why do you study English, Karina? I study English because I want to uh this job. Okay. And because I want to start in other country. Nice. Nice. Uh, where, where country do you visit in the past? I be. We're just missing a couple. Uh, no, we're just missing three people. Let's, let's give them a while.
Okay, awesome. So guys, how do you feel? Um, it was a pretty shield exercise, right? Only asking um, double H questions to get questions, I'm sorry, to get to know each other, right? I, I heard that some people ask each other what type of music did they like, right? Um, what were the favorite teams, uh, soccer teams, right? So that was, that was a pretty good, I feel that it was a pretty good exercise we did today. Um, so how did, how did you feel guys? I know it was a short time, but I promise that I'm going to give you more time tomorrow. Sí, les voy a dar más tiempo. Mañana, por lo mismo, verdad, porque quería, uh, I wanted to know you first. <laughs> Los quería conocer primero. So, ¿cómo se sintieron? Did, do you prefer this way so you can get more time to practice? Yes. It's good. Okay, awesome. Yes, and you get to know also to know each other's accent, right? So it's already time, I'm sorry. Um, but I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me uh, on WhatsApp, either on the group or on my private chat. See? ¿Sí? En mi en el grupo o en, o en el chat privado. That would be okay. All right? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Good night. Bye. 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 B